Welcome to the Double E Cup Series Season 8 Premiere. We're here at the High Banked, very fast, very rough Atlanta Motor Speedway for the first of our 10 race summer season. Plenty of familiar faces as well as some new ones here to the decks this season. And I'm sure they're as excited as any of us to get this season underway. So let's take a look at the starting lineups for today's race. On the pole is the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. Starting his outside is Clint Boyer now in the 14. Then in row two we have Denny Hamlin in the 11 and Brad Keselowski in the two. Row three belongs to Joey Logano and Kyle Busch. And row four sees Martin Truex Jr. along with Ryan Blaney. And rounding out the top 10 is Kyle Larson and Ty Dillon. Then in row six we have Ryan Newman and Chase Elliott. Then we have Danica Patrick in the 10 and Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 88, along with Austin Dillon in the 3 and Kurt Busch in the 41. Then we have the 4 of Kevin Harvick and the 20 of Matt Kenseth, along with the 6 of Trevor Bain and the 5 of Casey Kane. And then we have Paul Menard in the 27 and Eric Almarola in the 43, along with Daniel Suarez now in the 19 and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Then we have Eric Jones along with the 1 of Jamie McMurray, and rounding out the field today is the 47 of A.J. Allmendinger. So there is your 27 car field. Here's the rest of your race info. It's a 12 lap race here around Atlanta. And like I said, it is the first of what will be a 10 race season. So it's important to all these guys to get off to a great start this season. And we're ready to get underway. The green flag is in the air for Jimmy Johnson. And Double E Cup Series Season 8 is going green. Cars rocket through turns one and two. Johnson opens up a big lead. Battle for fourth there. That's Kyle Busch to the inside of Keselowski. Three wide there mid-pack with Newman on the bottom. As we begin the second lap of today's race, Johnson opening up his lead on the outside lane. Now Kyle Busch already up to third. He's looking for second over Clint Boyer. Two wide racing most of the way back. Here comes Kyle Busch. He'll move Clint Boyer up the hill a little bit as we begin the third lap of this race. That 18 car looks really fast early. And he's knocking on the door of our leader, Jimmy Johnson. Isn't even going to know what hit him. Here comes Kyle Busch in the 18 around Jimmy Johnson for the race lead here on lap four. And now we got trouble down the front stretch. Spinning goes Newman up into traffic. He collides with Kurt Busch in the 41. And it looks like that will be the only carnage here on lap number four. A two car tangle here down the middle of the front straightaway. And our first caution is out. Look at it, live speed again, big hit there as Newman slid back up into traffic. Let's see what happens, slow-mo. Oh, hard to tell there. Looked like Newman might have been trying to go low to get a run on Chase Elliott and make that pass, but Danica Patrick had her nose in there already and he was unaware and it sent him spinning. A lot of close racing here on that first initial start. Now Atlanta, with its abrasive surface, it seems like many of our leaders will be taking to pit road here on lap four. Kyle Busch, our leader, is in. He just took over the lead. He'll be taking four tires. Looks like most people will be taking four. Clint Boyer is one of them. He's a down and away. Let's take a look at the race off here. Jimmy Johnson wins it. We got a contact on pit road. Kyle Larson and Kyle Busch have collided on pit road near the exit. And that's going to cause significant damage on both race cars. They will have to continue to stay in the pits and try to repair that and make sure everything's okay. See what happened. It looked like, oh, Larson was just coming out of his pit stall when Kyle Busch had already exited. And tough break for both of them. They'll restart in the back. Two cars stayed out under this caution. Ty Dillon will assume the lead. Casey Kane will restart to his outside. This could get interesting. They took no tires. Green flag back in the air. Johnson already making it three wide. Ty Dillon already stuck in the middle. Johnson gets back to the race lead. Three wide on back. Ty Dillon continues to lose spots. Now he goes spinning. The 13 car spins to the inside apron. And we will be back under the yellow flag. This time on lap number seven. And yeah, this was going poorly very quickly. Looked like Ty Dillon definitely did not have the grip these other guys had. He tried to cut down, it looked like in front of his brother, Austin Dillon, who did not cut him any slack. And he goes around, he'll restart in the back. Minimal damage to that 13 car, but still not what he wanted to see. Gamble did not pay off. Jimmy Johnson reassumed the lead. We will restart now with four laps to go here at Atlanta. Race one has been exciting so far. Let's see how this one ends. Green flag is back in the air. Keselowski gets a great restart on the outside. His teammate Logano gives him a good push. Keselowski will take over the lead for the first time today. Casey Kane continuing to struggle also on old tires. He's trapped on the outside now. Jimmy Johnson's going to have three laps now to try and close back and reassume this race lead. Can Joey Logano have anything to do with it? Now Clint Boyer is going to go after him for third. Clint Boyer trying to come back now. Battle now for fourth is Chase to the inside of Logano. We have less than two laps to go. Jimmy Johnson going to try the higher lane now. Oh, Keselowski put the big slide off too. That's going to open over Johnson. Contact is made. Three wide goes Clint Boyer. He's into the wall. White flag is in the air, and Jimmy Johnson has retaken the lead. 
What a daring move by Clint Boyer. Did not quite pay off for the 14 car. Johnson now has to hold off Keselowski through three and four. He will do just that. Jimmy Johnson wins at Atlanta. And cars go spinning across the line behind them. Joey Logano looked like Denny Hamlin and maybe Chase Elliott were involved there off of turn four. But none of that affected Jimmy Johnson. He wins the race from the pole and takes home the first winning trophy of deck season eight. Let's see again what happened on the last lap there. It looked like what similarly will happen to Newman there. Logano got a big run on his teammate Keselowski who had to get out of the gas, tried to go low, but there were cars there. Didn't look like it hurt Chase Elliott or Hamlin too bad, but let's take a look at our top five. Of course, first goes to Jimmy Johnson. Thank you to all of his many sponsors. Second place goes to Brad Keselowski, a strong run for the two team. Third place goes to Clint Boyer, started outside pole, hung around in the top five all day. He gets a third place finish. Martin Truex Jr., welcome back to the Double E Cup Series. He comes home fourth. And Danica Patrick finishes this race with a top five. Ran top ten most of the day and took advantage of late race chaos to bring home her first top five of the season. And you see there Chase Elliott crossed the line sixth. Blaney ended up seventh. Denny Hamlin managed to cross the line in eighth. Joey Logano definitely was hurt the most on that last lap spin. He finishes 19th. Good day for a lot of guys. Casey Kane ended up finishing 11th after that strategy with no tires. Dale Jr. 12th. You see Kenza 13th. Almarola 14th. And here are the rest of your finishers. Kyle Busch only able to drive back up into 22nd after he took the lead early, but with that contact with Larson on pit road, ended his hopes of winning. And here's your point system. Your standings are the same as what you saw a moment ago. It's important to note that first place is awarded 30 points per race. Second place gets 26, third gets 25, fourth gets 24. You know, it just counts down by one. No bonus points are given for laps led. This is just to clarify any of you with questions. And after the, at the end of nine races, the top four in points will advance to a championship race where all points are reset and the highest finisher of that race will be the DEX champion. Similar to how it's been done the last couple seasons, but hopefully that will clarify many things. Thank you guys for watching so much. Hope you enjoyed the premiere of DEX Season 8. Remember, out of the groove every Thursday, NASCAR fans, feel free to watch. You can check out all of my Patreon, Twitter, Snapchat, all that fun stuff in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed Race 1 from Atlanta. I'll see you again really soon.